the bag knot, the sack knot, the miller knot, and a variation of the miller's knot. Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. And in today's little exercise, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you basically a sack knot. And as you just heard, it comes with a number of different names and there are slight variations in the way in which the actual knot is tied. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the variations of this particular knot and also one of my little favorites at the end. So at the end of this video, you'll see my favorite way of tying this because it's basically just a quick loop method and then slip it over the throat of the bag at this point here. Now the beautiful thing about the Miller's knot, the sack knot or the bag knot is that once it's tied, you pull it up nice and tight like that. And if I now try and get my fingers underneath there and open that bag up, it's just not going to open up. It's almost a constrictor knot in its construction because we have crossing points here and crossing point here. And basically on those crossing points, the actual knot itself is being locked into place. So right, anyway, without, oh, and also the other thing is, if you want to know more information about this knot, check the description down below and there'll be some more useful information in the description section. So without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. Right, so what I've done is, instead of having the throat of our sack, what I thought I'd do is I would tie all of them onto one piece of pipe. So substitute throat of the sack for this pipe. It just makes it a little bit easier to see. And I've got my hefty colored cord here. And so the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna tie the first variant of the Miller's knot. Now the first thing I do, right hand side here is my working end. And the first thing I do is pass my working end over the top of the throat of my sack. I then bring it underneath and then pass it over again so it crosses at this point here. I then take it underneath again, and now that I've taken it underneath again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over this point here, so over that one there, and then pass it over itself at this point here, and underneath this one on the very right hand side top. So take it over, over, and then just pull it up a little to form a, lo a little bit of a gap, pass it underneath. So there you go, you can see now, I'm going over, over, and underneath the top right hand loop that I created, and then just gently pull up tight. And as I pull up tight, that now becomes nice and secure. I haven't tied it too tight, just so that you can see what the difference is when we create them. But as I pull on that now, that now is the first version of the Miller's Knot that we have created on our pipe here. Right, so as you can see, there's my first Miller's Knot. And now I'm gonna tie my second one, which is basically as follows. I take my working end, I pass it over my throat, or in this case, throat of my sack, or in this case, my pipe, and I take it around the back, and then what I'm going to do is pass it over again so it crosses at this point here, take it around the back, so it comes underneath, between these two here, where it crosses over, and then the next thing I do is I'm going to pass it, so it's coming between these two here, so it's going round the back between these two here, and the next thing I'm going to do is pass it over this one here and under that one there. So just pass it over, like so, and then pass it underneath that one there, and now I can pull up tight on that one, and now we have our second variation of the knot. And you can see here the different crossing points as we tie this knot. They're very, very similar, but from Ashley's, according to Ashley's, the one we've just done here is a little bit more secure than that one there. And so now we can move that one to one side and then we'll get on and tie the next one. 
So here we go, the next one is the sack knot. And so to tie the sack knot, very, very simple, very, very easy, just another variation of these two here. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna pass my working end over the throat of my sack, or in this case, my pipe, like I said before. And then I'm taking it around the back and take it a little bit through. And then once I've gone around the back, I then pass it over so it crosses over itself at that point there, goes around the back, and then the next thing that I want to do is I want to take this working end here and it's going to pass over that first one to the right of it there, and then underneath the very first turn that we did at that point. So take it over, just grab a bit of cordage to form a loop at that point there, and then pull it up nice and tight, and we now have the sack knot. So you can see once again, very they're all very similar to each other, but just have a slightly more or slightly different way of actually tying it, okay? So we then get on to the final way, which is the bag knot. So to tie the bag knot, very, very simple. Once again, very similar to the previous ones that we've done before. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to pass our working end over our pipe or the throat of our sack. And then what we do is we bring it around underneath and then allow it to cross over at that point there. Then when it's crossed over, bring it around the back, underneath there. So it's coming around the back to the left-hand side of everything we've done there. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to pass my working end over everything and then bring it out. So it's going to pass over that, over that, and go underneath that one there. So pass it over. In fact, take a little bit more through. You can fiddle it about, take a bit more through. So now we're going to pass it over those two. So we're passing over that one and that one, and then bring it underneath through that one there. And now what we've done is we have tied our bag knot. And that's it. So there we have it. We have Miller's Knot version one, Miller's Knot's version two, the sack knot, and then finally the bag knot. Okay. Now, out of all of these, from what I understand is that the bag knot itself is the more secure. But depending on wh which one you prefer to tie, etc., it doesn't matter. You choose the one that you want to tie. Now, let's get rid of all of these except for this one here. Now, the other thing is when we're tying the actual bag knot itself, what we can do is... Let's tie the bag knot again completely. So if I take the bag knot this time, and what we can do with all of these, you can have a slipped version. And all we're doing is the following. I am now going to pass this over. We're tying the bag knot this time. I'm passing it around over itself so it crosses at this point here. I then take it underneath. And so it comes out to the left-hand side of both of these here. And then what I'm going to do is just pull a little bit more through because it's slightly more cord hungry, this. Pull a little bit more through. And then, and you can do this with all of them. What we do now here is we form a bite in our working end here. And we then pass the bite. So in other words, it's, what I did in the previous bag knot was go over this one, over this one, under that one. We're going to do that still with this one, but rather than taking all of the cordage through, we're just going to pass a bite through. So go underneath that one on the right hand side and then pull up nice and tight on both ends. And you can see now here, what we've done is we've given ourselves the bag knot. And had you tied the Miller, sack, Miller knot or the sack knot previously and put a bite in it, you then have a slip version. This is not coming undone until we actually pull on this cord here. If we pull on this cord here, you can see now it quickly and easily comes undone. Sometimes 
Quite often, actually, it's quite useful to be able to tie a knot in advance and then slip it over the throat of our bag or our pipe in this case. And so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you how to tie the bag, bag knot using the following method. So there is my working end going off to the right hand side. And the first thing that I do is I form a loop. So form a largish loop in my cordage like so. I then take hold of it, take hold of that top end of the loop. I put a twist in it and bring it over. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it over like that, pull it, put a twist in it. So we form a figure of eight. There's my standing end going that way. There's my working end going that way. So let me just show you that again. So uh, let's do it completely again. So form a loop at that point there. And now get hold of the top end of the loop that we formed there. Twist it so that we form a figure of eight. And then pass that figure of eight over the standing end of our cordage. The next thing that we do is those two, we've now created two separate loops, top and bottom. Just bring them both together underneath. And there we have it. We've now tied one in number bag knot. And all I need to do now is bring my sack throat neck or pipe in this case and pass it in the gap of my knot and then pull up tight. And you can see now I have got myself a nice substantial knot securing the top of my bag. And that's it. That is basically the Miller's knot, the Miller's knot variant two, the sack knot and the bag knot. So anyway, once again, thank you everybody for watching. I sometimes wonder if I bore people, you know, but once again, thanks for very much for watching. Give me one of those if you liked it. If you hate it, give me one of those, but please do comment below and don't forget to subscribe as well to see more knots in the future. Thanks then. Bye-bye.